Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Thursday morning here in Kansas. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, Silver Architect, how are you doing today? Welcome in this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who don't know, Silver Architect's a great friend of the stream. If you don't know who he is, please click that link over and give him a follow. Leave his notification bell on. Make sure you tell him Astro sent you over. Hey, Jeep guy, how are you doing this morning, sir? Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeep Guy is another great friend of the stream. Also, please go click that link, give him a follow, leave his notification bell alone. These are two great friends of mine, and you will be uh, greatly entertained by both of them. So please, please go check them out. Infried, good morning. Thank you for the 10 bits, sir. Ain't it Wednesday? Didn't I say Wednesday morning? Did I say Thursday morning? I don't know. I'm confused. Too many mornings of getting up at 4 o'clock. Used to this. Still not used to this yet. But I thought I said Wednesday. I don't know. Might have said Saturday for all I know. <laughs> I know when I went to bed last night, I couldn't even tell you my name. That's how tired I was. But how are you guys doing this morning? I hope y'all are all doing well. Hi, ah, good morning. Thought you said Tuesday? You said Thursday. You had me looking. Okay, I, now y'all are really confusing me. I got one of you saying that I said Tuesday, one of you saying that I said Thursday. I, hey, I was close. I got on both sides of it. I tried. If it's Wednesday morning, I think I'm in trouble because I forgot to put the garbage out. But, oh well. It'll just sit for another week. I'm just chilling after a long night of work. Well, welcome in, sir. Welcome in. As you know, it's just going to be another chill little stream. We're just going to have a little fun, have some laughs. Hopefully, I won't explode today, but, well... You never can tell. I mean, it is me. Hang on just one moment, please. Sorry, I heard some kind of buzzing somewhere. I was just trying to figure out where it was coming from. But we're just doing some more cargo runs this morning, trying to earn a little bit more cash before we start getting to PvP and... uh combat aspects and uh exploration and well i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do next to try it out but i'm going to try out a little bit of everything in here so let's just go ahead and get going we've already got ourselves a bunch of missions and let's just see how karina is doing this morning karina okay she's ignoring me Launch. Yeah, it's okay. She was ignoring me last night for a little while. Thank you, Karina. We're just waiting for a couple of the ships to fly by so we don't slam into them. Still gonna have to work some more on her speech recognition. But she's getting a little bit better with me. Hey, 
you know, we've already picked up a bunch of missions to do this morning, a bunch of courier jobs. Should get us some good money. Especially after the incident of the batteries running out of my controller yesterday in the middle of uh, the final one. That one did not end well. Took a while to figure out the keyboard commands to be able to properly get to my system and land. Yeah, I think we're both in the same neighborhood in this game. It's, it's just the learning phase right now. That's all it is. Right now, it's just the learning phase. We've got to get used to the controls. We've got to get used to how the ships fly. We'll get there. I still need to play with the controls and swap the flight sticks so that I could have a little bit more finesse control with my right thumb for combat than with my left. My left thumb, I'm a little bit too heavy handed and are, can't stay with the enemy targets. But I'm still trying to give it a go. Hey, Jeep guy. This is just about adventures in space. This is supposed to be 400,000 star systems that some could be explored. In this game, you could be anything you want to be, whether it be a miner, cargo runner, explorer, bounty hunter. There are a couple other options you can, or what you can do. It's an amazing game. The graphics are beautiful and the developers went to went to great detail for everything, including the sounds. When you do planetary flight, you can hear your ship creaking and groaning and air rushing past you. Request docking. And there's a third party add in that's voice attack that helps you with some of the other aspects, such as, well, launching, landing. Got to be careful what I say because if I say the wrong thing, she'll put out my weapons and my docking will be denied. And she can pretty much do everything to where you do not have to touch the controller, keyboard, joystick, none of it. Because she can do it all. And then they have different voices, such as this one is Marina Sirtis. They have all kinds of generic voices. You can have... Um, William Shatner, Michael Dorn. All of them cost a little bit, but this way you can personalize it to be your computer, your controls. Introduce yourself.
it really is. If you like space games, this one, this one is very good. It's very cool. I've got a second mission here. Launch. I have to be careful because currently I've gone from solo play to open, which means I've got other pilots out here with me. I've got other players. So now I can really start running into pirates and in some kind of the, uh, and some of the anarchy zones, but we've got to ha start having some of the danger involved now. But this is, it is really a cool game. I am really enjoying it. I'm, I bought it when it was first released and I never really played it. I'm not sure if something else came along that got my attention first or what, but this game just... It filled the gap for me from EVE Online. And I could sit here and play this game all day and it's, it's relaxing. It's very relaxing. You did some combat yesterday and it was fun kicking the pirates, but yep. Oop, 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 oop. I forgot I didn't have Super Cruise Assist on. That's my fault. So I just overshot our target. And it's easy to fly past things such as that. My first day of playing, that's all I did was I kept flying way past the stations. And you're right, Silver. The uh, the combat combat is fun. Combat's exciting. Well, have a good stream, Leo. I'm off to work. Okay, Jeep guy, you take it easy, sir. Have yourself a good day, and we'll see you later on. Request docking. So Silver, what all else did you get into yesterday? Did you just do a bit of combat or did you do some exploring? Because I know that some of the guys up in here were uh, giving you some tips yesterday. 
Tell me about it. No longer in the starter area when exploring. Honestly, I'm not even sure where the ex starter area is anymore. So I take it you're, uh, I guess it would help to close all that. I have two new ship, ships, two Cobra Mark threes. Very good. I think I have a, let's see. Did they tell me here? I think I bought a Viper. Yeah, I think it's a Viper I have. One for fighting and haulage, the other for mining. Very good. Launch. So how is mining? Haven't read the guides for mining yet. I just know what they said yesterday about it taking a while to do. Lining up for Aerovite. Only just finished ship last night, so no idea. Ah, okay. Now this weekend, I'm going to play around a little bit more with combat and maybe a little mining. See how it goes. May get a bigger cargo ship. This way here I could try to get more loads. Make more money quicker. Just want to go a little bit fast. Get away from the sun. Target is main hub. Been looking at treating self a little birthday present, the voice control during research about it. Oh man, this thing is, this thing makes it so easy. And I know that there's a lot more to it than what I use it for. There is a whole lot more. I was looking over the command sheet for it. I know I still got to get a bunch of it programmed in, but there are, it looks like hundreds of commands for it.
Come on, let me out of here. Well, looks like we're on manual flight control now. Yeah, big old 43 on Friday. Happy early birthday. Coming in to glide. up our speed a little bit more I don't have to worry about slowing down I'm watching I'm watching oh come on they were both in blue so what happened They were both in the blue range when I hit to drop out of Super Cruise. Oh, too close. Oh, we're a little too close for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Up, 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 up. What? Oh, now we really blasted past it. That wasn't too bad. We got a lot closer. I thought we blew past her. But yeah, Silver, happy early birthday. Request stocking. It is HC, HSC for voice packs. Yes. Yes, it is. And make sure you get the ones for Elite Dangerous because they have others for um, Star Wars Squadrons, um, No Man's Sky, Star Citizen.
turn in her mission. And our reputation starting to look up. Which is good based on the number of missions that we've done for him. Can't do the 54 units of clothing because that takes, uh, that will take three round trips. We're not outfitted for mining. We're not going to do assassination missions in a hauler. Seventy four thousand light seconds. That will take us a while to fly to that station. So we're going to avoid that one. If I wasn't streaming, I'd go ahead and take it. Let's see. Okay, we've our, our next one's up in the same system we got our last mission at. So, launch. Been looking at the data voice pack, Prince Spiner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about getting him for navigation and having Michael Dorn on tactical, having Wharf. Thought about William Shatner, but eh. Not sold on that one. Not sold on him. I always thought Kirk was a little, or William Shatner was always a little over dramatic and overacted sometimes. The one I wish they really had was um, Major Barrett, Gene Roddenberry's wife. She would have been good because she did the computer voices on the Star Trek shows and her voice would have been perfect, just perfect. Have you seen the Odyssey pack that they're about to release? A 
we're gonna fly past it because it is in the middle of the back side of the planet. It looks good. It looks good. Oh, most definitely it's on mine as well. I just found my favorite Denlin. Oh, Delin. Oh, Delin from uh Babylon Five, right? Yep. I love that show. I absolutely love that show. Request stocking. I remember the show was only supposed to be five years and they decided to write, I think it was a six, what, six, six season into it. I own them also on Amazon. I I purchased them. I wanted to treat myself, and when I found them all, I just had to get them. Once every two years, sit there and binge watch it. I can understand that. But it was, it was a very good show. The original Battlestar Galactica was good. I liked it. But I like the remake even better. Even though there was one season that was just a little drawn out, it was still a good show. Launch. I like how they made it to where the Cylons could look like humans. And then they finally brought in the final five. I was so glad the way that they they decided to end it because they made it a fitting ending, whereas the original show, they had to continue to go past Earth because they didn't want the Cylons to attack the planet because Earth couldn't defend itself against them. And then they lost, left, uh, what was it? Uh, one of the ships who had the children had an accident and they 
took the kids and two of the Cylon warriors ended up going down to the planet with flying motorcycles. It's like, eh, okay. I thought part of that was just a little too much. And then they tried to bring the show back for, what is it, Galactica 1980? Request stocking. One of the cool things about the new show was that they brought back the original Apollo and in a couple scenes, the original Starbuck. And Apollo had, he had a reoccurring role for a while. He was a, a terrorist who became one of the uh, people on the, on the Council of the Colonies. Oh, yeah. our mission here real quick. Let's see, I can lose 4,000 credits for influence or reputation. We'll go ahead and take the reputation boost. Oh, well. Didn't help much, but oh well, it was only 4,000 credits. Wow, I wish I had a bigger ship. I'd be taking all that stuff to them. So let's see. Source and return is I find, I buy, then they reimburse me. How can you help quell civil unrest by transporting two superconductors? Let's see, where's our other missions go to? We got two. Ekin, both go to Ekinar. We're just going to go make these runs real quick to Ekinar, and then we'll pick up some other stuff. Okay. Gather some fuel, launch.
We're speeding, but that's okay as long as we don't hit somebody. Boosting a bit to get away from the station and mass lock. Akineer is a low security system. Yeah, I know one of these people want their stuff now. So we're talking about the, the science fiction shows. Do you remember the old Space 1999? Where they were storing, um, what was it, nuclear waste on the backside of the moon and something happened and it exploded and blasted the moon out of the Earth's orbit. That was one of the first sci-fi shows I think I've ever watched on TV. But they played it so irregular here in the States, it was hard to it was hard to catch it. I always used to like to watch the eagles fly into the space. I've always liked the space shows such as that, Star Wars, Star Trek. It piqued my interest in the stars when I was a kid. I always fascinated by them. I always read up on the solar system. Request docking. Oh, we still go outside to watch the meteor showers. We went outside to go see the, um, what they were calling the Christmas star when I think it was what Jupiter and Saturn were in alignment. Oh yeah. I used to get up in the middle of the night to go outside and watch the meteor showers. That was an adult. We drive outside the cities to where we can get away from all the bright lights and we can actually see them just racing across the sky. We're going to turn these two in and then we're going to grab some more. Source and return. Okay, here's the second ones. We 
just one fast moment. Let me check something here real quick. Okay, we'll take that one to Aravate. Take that one. We're good. Um, 10 units of explosives. Just got to make sure we don't have a bumpy ride with those. Take another one to elevate, and I may regret that one because I have a feeling that one's going to be a great distance. We already have to go to Aravate, so we're just going to go ahead and take this one as well. Let's see what else they got. Got to be careful with cargo hold space. That's enough to get us going. Let's see. Boom time. Boom time means that they're in a rush for it. So let's go ahead and get them their stuff. Launch. We're lined up, boosting to get away from the station, and here we go. go loss and orbital we'll go drop off their explosives if they're in a hurry for them Don't know why. Don't care. I just I just haul the freight. They pay me, I haul.
take us a few moments to get there, but that's all right. It's a nice, relaxing flight in space, unless we get interdicted. And then we got to fight to get out of it to make sure the pirates don't get us. You know, Silver, I remember an old TV show here in the States. It was called Quark. It starred Richard Benjamin. It was a show about interstellar garbage men. And that's what they did. They flew around in their starship picking up big bags of other starships garbage. I must have been six at the time, seven at the time. It was kind of funny. I don't remember much of the crew. They had some, they had some weird episodes. And you'd see the ship fly up to the big bag of trash and it would open up its front end and it would take the garbage in and then it would close and then they just fly off. I think it only lasted for about a season or two here. Now, space show I really liked, really liked. That was canceled before its time. Firefly. I never thought anybody could combine science fiction with a Western, but they did there. Request docking. That show was perfect and it had the perfect crew for it. In Serenity, they had to do the movie for Serenity. I wish they had made a couple more though, just to continue the story. Especially finding out how the Reavers were created. Okay, we're going to fuel up. Drop off this load. There you go. Enjoy your explosives, fellas. Let's make sure we've got nothing else in this system. 
Nope. Whoops, that wasn't what I meant to do. And our next one. Airvate. Launch. Yeah, I was watching one person play Elite Dangerous last night, and he had just bought a new Viper. He went to go launch out of uh, the inside of one of the space stations, and he didn't lift off away from the pad. He just raised his landing gear, went forward, and slammed into all the buildings in there. He was embarrassed and laughed about it going. He forgot how fast that ship was. All right, we're free and clear. Yes, I know. Everybody wants their stuff now. Impatience, impatient. I think after we complete these missions, we're going to take some more deep space ones. We're going to try to get away from these areas. See if we can get a little bit of exploration because I know we're going to jump into some systems that we don't have planets mapped. Probably won't know where the stations are. Those can be kind of fun, except for when there's pirates out there.
Request stocking. I just wonder how this game looks in VR. I've been looking to get more of the Oculus 2 headsets. I had one for the PS4, but there wasn't that many games to go along with it that I enjoyed. I think the only one there I liked was Riggs, and it was more like a uh, three-on-three robot, kind of like soccer match, where you blew your opponents up. It's pretty fun, kind of aggravating it sometimes, but you know, it's it was a good game. Launch. Do our little boost. See how many more we have here. Four more after this one. Welcome in, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. This morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending upon where you are in the world. I think another couple days of cargo running and then we'll start ready to venture out.
This way we have enough money. We could be a little bit self-sufficient. And hopefully survive out there. This game has a great community out there on Twitch. People are always dropping in, giving tips, lots of tips. And I've got my notepad here with uh, just about everything scratched down into it. And I've had to go back through the VODs a little bit to uh, just double check them, make sure I have them right. So much to do, so much information. And that's what I like about games like this. There is so much information out there. Request stocking. West stock. Okay, I guess I hit a control while she was doing that. Pull up the galactic map or the system map. Enable chit chat. Always making sure to fuel up. Close that one because I forgot to. We've got another delivery here. Russell Ring. Launch. I've come across a station here with one of my dog's names and every time I say it, he comes running.
So we're just here doing our little... Boy, I can't talk this morning. We are just here doing our normal little morning cargo runs. But soon our schedule may be changing to more of a nighttime instead of early morning, but I'm still undecided about that one. I know that when I get the studio completed and get everything moved in there, that I was going to extend the morning times from starting at between 4.45 and 5 o'clock back to around 2 to 3. You can't talk any other time of the day, so what makes morning any different? Bite me, Phantom. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in a good friend of mine, Mr. Phantom Gaming HDTV. If you don't know who he is, please click that link, go over, give him a follow. You can tell him Astro sent you over, but, well, he'll probably just laugh you out of the channel at that point. Just kidding. Great guy, up and coming iRacer. So please, please go check him out. You'll be glad you did. How you doing this morning, Phantom? Besides coming in here all full of, you know, piss and vinegar. Mm -hmm. First thing out of your mouth, you got to start something already this morning. I swear. I swear. And that's the reason why we get along so well. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll talk in a little bit. Request docking. Ah, uh, sorry, Phantom. Sorry, man. Hey, you. Not going to say anything, but I'm sorry. Let's see if we can't make you smile and laugh and, you know, have some fun for a little bit. You remember those light up fidget spinners? Yeah, well, I need to send one to Lead Dog. He deserves it. Same with Red Man OG. They decided to give me the business last night, so. I've got to do the same to them. Maybe some special chocolate. Mission rank elite exceeds your current rank merchant. Hmm. Wonder why.
Okay, we're going to finish delivering these contracts, and then we're going to go find something outside the area we've been normally going in. Launch. Hostile ships will be sent to take you out. That's why. It, yeah, but Silver, it's me. They, they're probably sending hostile ships out just because it's me. You know, it's... I'm just a sweet, innocent, lovable guy. That's, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a couple people who took me and twisted me into the person I am today, though. But I used to be a sweet, lovable, and innocent guy. Run scared of the Delta Fleece. Yeah, I had to explain that to my wife one day. She heard me say Delta Fleece and she goes, what's that? So I had to explain to her what it was. So she just looked at me, shook her head, called me an idiot and walked off. It's like, well, yeah. You know, kind of like the sh my ships in the game or the computer here or the voice attack. I, I call them she and her and, you know, that was just a thing I learned in the Navy. We called all of our ships she. Non-gaming partners for you? Yeah. Yeah. I had one buddy that his wife was, uh, she was a gamer. And it didn't matter what he said, she was like, okay. She just went along with it because she knew most of the time it had to do something about a game. But they only played games together. They were a good couple. They were fun to be around. They liked playing board games also. Whoops. Forgot I did not turn on Super Cruise. So. Assist. So we're flying past it. So I was talking instead of paying attention what I was doing. It's okay. We're coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Please raise all tray tables and seat backs to their full upright position. You say enable supers. Oh, I better not say that too loud. Okay, thank you. Request stocking.
Let me drop this one off. Second one's here. Sat here thinking what to play today, this or fishing. Okay, that's all for our contracts. Let's see what we got that goes out there. Uh, we want to go further out. Never been to that system, so first time for everything. Okay, we'll take that one. We've never been here either. Take a courier job to the same location. Now I'm missing commercial samples. Right, we're going to a bunch of systems we've never been to before. So let's see what kind of Good morning, Jimmy. Welcome in. Elite Dangerous Odyssey will not be out till autumn 20 PC games, PC spring. Yeah, I heard it was, uh, what, April, I think, due to COVID-19 and the UK lockdown. Yeah. I think that's one of the problems we're having with getting a lot of computer parts made to be where people could purchase them is the fact that we can't get the parts in right now. Launch. So there's delays on everything and then you've got the third party sellers who are snapping up what is available and then jacking the prices up. Hi, Nova. how are you doing? Welcome in.
Yeah, one of my friends tried to buy a, a C920 cam for somebody that regularly sells between 60 and 65 bucks and was paying 240 until he realized when I told him that that was uh that was about four times the price. We were able to get it canceled and he was able to get his money back. He thought that was the regular price for it. So how are y'all doing today? Welcome in. Hey, I'll see Wills. Good morning to you. Peeks out of the lurking shadows to see what you're up to today. Causing trouble as always. Causing trouble as always. No, I'll see. No farming for me. I do that to help Red, but for the most part, farm sim is just not my kind of game. But I do. I, I go in to help him whenever he needs it. Occasionally, I may play solo just a little bit to make sure I, you know, keep in touch with it, and especially the updates. But it's just not my thing. FPS shooters, space games like this, this is my games. Thought I would pop in for a few minutes to surprise you as this is not your type of game. <laughs> well, thank you for popping in, Aussie. How are you doing today? See, so you know about different types of games and, you know, what we all like and what we don't like. But thank you very much for stopping in. Request stocking. I'm good trying to get something to work in OBS and it's not working. Sorry to hear that, man. Send me a message in Discord and I'll see if I can help you out in a little bit. I've tried to do a couple things in OBS and it didn't work for me, but then I found out later after, after doing some research into it that I was messing it up. I'll see what I can do about helping you out. There's a countdown that's in the stream deck. It was working till OBS did an update. Now it won't work. You know, I use an external program. What's it called? 
Um, Snaz. S-N-A-Z. That's what I use, and then I just broadcast it up on my starting screen. So fuel, let's see. These two are going to the same system. I know that the last one there isn't. So this is going to be an interesting. Because we have no idea where we're going to. Launch. Famous last words. These are going to be two easy contracts. Next thing he knows, he wakes up in a station with a brand new ship sitting right there in front of him. You can see the timer on the screen and you can see it counting down on the stream deck also. Got a new ship. Actually, I've got a Viper. I picked up a Viper the other day just to play with for combat. Till I get the till I get the hang of it. When it gets down 10 seconds, the button starts to flash red. Sorry, I'll see. I I have no idea. On that one, I have no idea. You may want to contact um, developers of OBS and and ask them. Yeah, I've done some some minor boundary hunting. Minor being the key word. It was fun. It was exciting. I liked it. little heavy handed on the control joystick for it though but I've got to get the uh the fine touches down it's okay I'll find out how to fix it just gonna take some time yeah I'll see all that all that takes a little bit of time no not yet I just played with it in its uh, original configuration. Okay, I'll see. A rate for internals. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Punova. I, I made a note of it. Got it, my notepad right here. Make sure you know, laser multi cannon laser for shootless cannon for hull.
All right, let me scratch that one down. Thank you. Whoa, no, wrong button. That was the wrong control. We don't want to jump right now. Request docking. The tips are all greatly appreciated. A shield bank, I don't use them. this more room okay I'll be making changes to it this afternoon and give it a run Reputation would be nice, but only a thousand credits? No. Not for a thousand credits. Yeah, before you do, please follow the learning curve and check a few builds before you do. Roger that, I sure will. Got another one here. Launch. Welcome in, everybody. Yeah. 
We're just doing the slow chill, earn a little bit of money before we start getting into the faster paced stuff. Now the gentleman we raided yesterday, Sir Gadget, I was watching him do a lot of the combat. I'm watching these guys with the experience to do it and or experience playing the game for a while and they make it look so easy so easy And here I am just rough sticking it and can't stay with my target and flying all over the place. And I just got to get my little finesse controls down. That's all it is. Right, but you'll get the hang of it the easier the more you get it yeah exactly it's like that about working on computers working on cars or well, pretty much doing anything that's how i always learned things was just getting hands on and doing it i can read the guides and i can i can study all kinds of things but until i actually get my hands on it and start to slowly do it and learn it that way yeah i remember the first time i built a computer that I didn't think anything about the edges on the inside of the case and being that sharp until I sliced the back of my hand open. That was bad. My wife always freaked out about the sight of the blood and she was freaking out that day. She wanted to take me to the hospital because I was going to bleed to death. I was like, no, no, it's not that bad. Just a little sheet metal cut, that's all. Yeah, I research builds, but combat is a trial by fire, which also helps you tweak your combat builds. It's my play style. Yeah. Dilly, thank you very much for the host, sir. Good morning. In most games, combat is just that. It is a trial by fire. You learn by doing. And everybody's everybody's play style is a little bit different, so everybody has to adjust that to where it fits and works for them. I play Warzone with one of my best friends, and he he has a more aggressive play style than I do. But we kind of mesh well together. So while he's gung-ho and engaging the enemies, I'm coming up around from the backside of them to try to engage them. Because every time I try to get aggressive like he does, yeah. I die. But it's like most games, everybody's play style is just a little bit different. They learn how their 
how they want to play their characters and how their character operates and what works right for them. But Okay. Request stocking. the final mission here in this system. LTT15574. Launch. move a little bit further away from the station because I saw one of the towers. Enter Orion Spur. Oh, it's a high security system. And to turn around and look, my dogs have taken over my bed. I've got eight dogs in my bed now. And my youngest one is laying there in my spot with his head resting on my pillow. My dogs are spoiled.
Request stocking. Right, turn that in. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me for just one moment, please. I will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm I'm sorry. I'm uh I'm gonna have to cut the stream a little bit early. Started not feeling well all of a sudden. I do wish to apologize to everybody. Uh I'm going to send everybody over to go check out the gentleman we saw yesterday, Mr. Sir Gadget. Thank you all for coming in. I do apologize about this, and I will be back at uh, 5 a.m. Central Time tomorrow morning. Y'all take care. Have a good day and be safe. Thank you.